Now that we've looked at quarter transactions, we can look at the contracts that govern them. A contract in quarter is a function that takes a transaction proposal as input and checks whether a set of conditions are true. The transaction proposal is then only valid if all the conditions imposed by the contract are met. So here's an example contract that imposes four rules. So you can see them here. So the first rule is that the transaction has one cash input and one cash output. The second rule is that the transaction has a transfer command. The third rule is that the value of the cash inputs equal the value of the cash outputs. And the fourth rule is that the owner of the input cash is a required signer. And so we can run through this contract with an example transaction proposal and check whether it meets our contract rules. So if we look at this transaction here, well, we can see that it has one cash input and one cash output, so that's fine. We can see that it has a transfer command, so that's fine. We can see that the value of the cash inputs equals the value of the cash output, so that's fine. And finally, we can see that the owner of the input cash is a required signer. And so this transaction proposal meets all the contract rules, so we can consider it valid. Now let's try stepping through the contract again with a different transaction proposal. Does it meet our contract rules this time? Um, well, if we look at this transaction here, we can see that it has one cash input and one cash output, so that's fine. We can see that it has a transfer command, so that's fine. But if we look at the value of the cash inputs, we can see that it's different to the value of the cash outputs. Someone's trying to issue themselves a lot of cash. And so a contract verification exception is thrown and the transaction proposal is immediately rejected by the contract. And how is all this represented in code? Well, contracts are simply represented by the contract class. And we'll take a look at this class in the next section.